You got a great game, three touchdowns. It's tough to, I mean, feel good about that, celebrate your individual accomplishment when the team loses. Personally, you always, uh, personally, your first goal is always to win as a team, but for me, I feel good about my performance tonight, that I wouldn't have been able to do it without the team and without the practice we go through. Well, the communication you had with uh, Chasen on that third touchdown, it looked like you kind of pointed downfield. He saw you. What, what, were you, what was happening there? Uh, some things our coach tell us to work on uh, every week in practice, scramble drill. And if you have certain plays, whoever it's like deepest, you got to put your hand up. And that was just one of the plays that we had you know, made. Did this game feel like it had a different vibe? Did, did the offensive play calling or whatnot feel like it had a different vibe at all? Uh, no, we came in same game plan, like similar game plan to what we had each week. And our coaches, our coaches demanded like demanded a lot of energy and asked everyone, are, are we all in? And that was the main that was the main point this weekend. I feel like everyone showed came out to play that then showed that they were all in. It seemed like there was more downfield throws. Was that part of the flow of the game with having your advantage against our DBs? Yeah, well, Air Force played a lot of cover one and cover zero, so that was like a it was like really a one on one matchup. So we're just gonna see who if our receivers can beat their corners. Do you like those types of matchups? You know, it's just kind of one on one jump ball type. Of yeah, one on one, one on one situations are always good. You can t you can, and it's always fun as a receiver to show your talents versus another just another another college player. You feel like you're showing what you got. You know, you maybe all conference bid like you team the same and stuff. Well, no, it's a team thing, and it's just if it happens, it happens, and I'm just gonna let it, the end of the season just carry out. Julia, you work so hard to get in here. Do you have a question? Um, if you can just talk about the three touchdowns, just what did that mean to you, uh, especially being the first Bulldogs since Devontae Adams did? It definitely, it definitely feels good, but it would have felt better with the win. So that's the main thing. I just want to come out and help my team as much as I could to win. So that's just the main thing each week for me, to just do whatever I could to help my team win. What was the energy like on the sidelines with Key saw as the head coach? Uh, it was a lot of energy. He's a he's a younger guy, a younger coach. So you know he comes out. He has a lot of energy. Our coaches demand a lot of energy all around. And that was the main thing that our coaches, from the coaching channel last year to this year, the main thing was the energy level. So I feel like it was a lot of energy coming out. Did you feel a difference at all from you know last week to this week? Uh, yeah, you can definitely feel a difference because they asked like, "Are you all in?" At the beginning of the, like, when we first heard about it, and Coach Kesaw, he's an energy type guy. So if if he demanded, then that's what's going to happen. You're from uh, Palo Alto, like Devonte. Is that is he someone you look up to? Yeah, it's, all, it's been a family friend for a long time, like since like, we were both kids, and he got he got me here. So that was like the main. That he worked good. Anybody else? All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.